Hi guys, today we will talk about Senior Rectifiers. So the Senior Rectifiers, first of all, are not Power Rectifiers. So, why I wanted to underline this difference? Because uh, both of them, as an input, can have a sign and both of them have an absolute value, okay? But uh, the difference is that the Power Rectifiers are circuit uh, uh, like the like the, the Giles bridge like this in which here, here you have the DC and then they, at the input you have the AC or circuit like this like the center tap the rectifier which is the, just with two diodes so in this video we will not talk about this circuit because they are used in power electronics. We will switch in analog electronics so you have a signal a sign of, of, of with, uh, for instance, 100 kHz or 1 kHz, and you want to rectify this with just uh, 1 mA, 10 mA of load. So it does not provide energy. So the first approach will be to use a sine wave and uh, just a diode and this will reg and this will make just the positive signal pass what we wanted to do in this video is to make uh, the function the mathematical function absolute value of x of your so let me call this function g gdx will be the absolute value of f we will we will we will uh, do a circuit like that so in order to make this circuit, the best option will be to use the open rectifiers. We will use this version instead because it is the easiest and the, the most practical way to provide the, the absolute value. We just gain one for both positive and both negative gain. So you expect a, a characteristic make like that. This is the input voltage and this is the output voltage. Resistor R, 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 and here you add just an op amp R, R as a inverter. So as a summer inverter. And you should have this characteristic. Naturally, if you take this diode here and you change it the sign, so on the other side here, you're gonna have you're gonna have the the negative function instead and so uh, we will make both of them uh, I don't know why for what reason you should use this there's no actually there is no reason for what I know and then we will we will also make uh, the the clamping circuit uh, in which for so if this uh, uh, this signal has to go to a microcontroller let me say of 1.2 volt this logic gate we will we will have the classical parameters like voh vol iol and etc so you can't fed a signal of uh, 10 volts right here you can use a level shifter or it is better to use a uh, a saturation pro or, or even a saturation protection so uh, to do this you can just put uh, the zener diode actually you, you just need one of them because uh, you, you can't clamp uh, both characteristic so um, the fact is that uh, I have made already the circuit for you there was a problem with the previous video because there is not my voice, so I will use the, an already simulated LED spice. So I want to construct with you, but just comment the result. These op amps are very noisy, and so whenever you supply them with, uh, let's say, V plus and V minus, remember also to add bypass capacitor here in both sides. So. You should expect a characteristic like this at the end of the story. 
if you use just uh, an op amp, if you just use an op amp instead, like this, you won't, you won't make the double rectification, but just half rectification. For this, for for instance, in this you have that uh, when the signal, when the input signal is negative, the output is zero. But when the signal is positive, you have the gain amplification. And so in this case, the characteristic will be like this. Let me open the LT Spice, which I have already made in the in the in the previous video, but I couldn't upload it for audio problems. So this is the circuit. What we wanted to discuss with you in the, this ready circuit, which you can find, it is the same solution, it is the the, um, the same circuit that, that I draw here. So let me draw the elements that are most important. So first, these, as you may know, are bypass capacitors and are used to filter out the power supply. You may need this in a real in a real application, so watch out. Then these are the two diodes, which uh, contribute which contributes in the the notification, and these and these and uh, these two at the end are responsible for the gain. It's basically like that. It's basically like that. So, um, this is the theoretical voltage, which we will use to compare the mathematical absolute value with the circuit, with the circuit right here. Let me, let me toggle the Zener diode and let me run the simulation. Uh, let me put the, the standard value of the rate and I will show you the problems of this circuit. So first of all, let's run the simulation. Let, let's use a uh, one kilohertz sign. Ah, sorry. First of all, let's run the characteristic. So is the circuit good? The answer is yes, because as you can see, both theoretical and both output voltage, both theoretical and both the characteristic of your circuit are the same. So it is behaving properly, which means that the circuit was well designed Talking about the talking about the characteristic point of view. Now, if uh, I use the Schottky diodes and I use the same Schottky diodes and I run the simulation, you see that it starts to there starts to be some difference here. That's because there is the drop voltage of the Zener diode in the positive signal. which you can partially compensate by choosing a very low Schottky diode drop voltage, but for, this, but for this purpose only, let's use the normal diode instead. And so that there will be basically no drop voltage at all. Now, as I said before, if you do, if you do invert the If you do invert the the verse of this of this diode, you will obviously obtain the other the other function around, and uh, which is basically the same with uh, a minus here, and so the theoretical voltage will be the same. Now a question for you: What happens if this di the diode D one is in this way, and the diode D, and the diode D two is in the other way. What will happen? I'll give you some second, but uh, the answer is uh, you are going basically in the in the positive voltage. Nothing will happen, but in in the, in, in the negative voltage, in, in, in when the, the input voltage is negative, you are made, you are making half the gain, just because you are basically making an, an, an alternator because this diode here will provide the path and so it is not so it, it, you shouldn't you shouldn't make a, a circuit like that so let me reverse the diode in the original position and let me talk about the clamping instead 
Okay, now, now you want to clamp, for instance, you want to modify this characteristic. So instead of having just uh, instead of having just something like this with the same gain, let's just say that you want uh, something like this. So with a, a saturation protection. What you can do is to put a Zener diode here. And if you run the simulation, you will see that the, the positive voltage is clamped by, the, by this diode here. Now, be careful because if you do want to make the negative clamping instead, you should reverse this diode here. And you should also change the position of these two diodes. Now you have the same clamping as before, you have the same negative voltage as before but with a negative voltage clamping, because you're using the Zener on the contrary side. Um, what else? Uh, if you do, if you, if, if, if you happen to connect this diode wrongly, you just have a 70 millivolt, 0 0.7 millivolts, something that is not uh, good, because, uh, so it is, do not connect the diode in the, in the, in the opposite way, Otherwise, your circuit won't even start to work. Um, so the characteristic is good. You may, you may think that you solved everything in this circuit, but it is not. Because the second problem is the speed rate of your pump. As you can imagine, if I now run the simulation... So let me comment this. If I run the simulation... Let's suppose that I have one, uh, 100 kilohertz sign at the input. And let me run the simulation for 10 microseconds. You see that the theoretical voltage absolute value is this. And the my voltage, which is the green one, is not exactly behaving like I want. And if I, I do increase again, let, let me put another zero here. The problem is even worse. So not only the problem, so not only my sign is uh, gray is greatly lagging in respect to the to the real sine wave, but uh, it is it, it but it is doing something which is ni neither in the sky and neither in the earth. So it is not behaving correctly. The problem resides in both the bandwidth. I explained this in another video, so how the bandwidth and how the slew rate resides, uh, how the slew rate and the bandwidth affect your pump. Just a, a little reminder, basically the slew rate is how fast your op pump can go. So this is the slew, so this is the slew rate because here you have a very high the V over the T, and and the, the op pump can't follow this. So if you put a square wave so fast. He won't be able to follow and the other parameter is the bandwidth so connected with the frequency of the signal because as you remember after this after the bandwidth here the op amp started to become a low pass filter so as you can i i can show you to you by even increasing further to for instance uh, um, 10, 10 megahertz so you will see something which is not even something which is not uh, allowed to exist. So let me put one megahertz, and the bandwidth has to be at least uh, one thousand times the frequency, even higher, I would say. The problem now is connected with the slew rate, I think, because this is a very fast rise time. So you have, you have to increase the slew rate and everything will work fine. Yes, it is working properly now. Ah, so even the theoretical voltage is having some problem. And why is that? 
this is this is very funny though because uh, the mathematical function should not give any um, any problem okay so now we have solved the so now we have solved the problem uh, you can even lower this this bandwidth by the way but uh, this is important because you have to understand that uh, whenever you design a system analog system you have to choose your pump based on how much precise your signal you want to be and so be careful to the bandwidth and the zero rate of your pump otherwise nothing will work thank you for your attention guys and see you in the, in the next video thank you